this. So I'm going to take it slow so everybody can draw along with me. Um, and what you might, of course, realize is that most traditional cartoon characters are very based on circles. So I'm going to start with a circle here, which will eventually become Goofy's cranium. I'm going to make a shape. Oh, sorry about that. I'm going to make a shape here that's kind of like an elongated three on its side. See that? Okay. You can already tell where that's going. And above it, almost parallel to it, but tapering in, I'm going to draw Goofy's eyebrow ridges, like so. Okay. Now I'm going to make a shape, kind of a balloony shape, that looks a little bit like a duck-billed platypus. And I'm going to do it very lightly because now I'm going to put details on it. Okay, but that will, of course, be Goofy's muzzle. Now, on top of this shape, I'm going to make four curved lines. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, and those are the wrinkles in Goofy's nose. All right, this line and I'm going to darken that, is going to become his smile. So I'll go ahead and darken that and give him a smile line here. Now, Goofy is a very constructed character, so not everything is contained easily. Some things stick out. So, for example, his cheek actually sticks out from his cranium line, and I'm going to put a little bit of his cheek on the other side as well. Now, going back to the front of this muzzle, I'm going to draw a bean shape. And the bean shape is Goofy's nose. See, it's starting to look like him already. Now I'm going to give you a little bit of a secret here. This is the thing that everybody gets wrong. So I'm going to tell you how to make it right. Goofy does not have round eyes like that. OK? What Goofy has. is long pupils like this. And all of a sudden, hey, that's Goofy. Now, I'm going to divide this muzzle in the front and make a little puffed out shape here and here. Okay, with a line up here. This is kind of the center line and then a line down here. And then three-dimensionally, I'm going to indicate that on the other side as well. Okay. And Goofy has three freckles on this side, three freckles on this side. He's getting there. Now I'm going to make kind of a, a curvy long U here. And then I'm going to make a shape for his lower lip, which is actually going to be almost parallel to it. Inside Goofy's mouth goes his tongue, one short curved shape and one long curved shape. Now, Goofy's a bit, of, a bit of a hick, so he actually has a bit of a weak chin. It's just kind of tiny and it comes out here. Now, Goofy, one of his big features is his front teeth. So if you make a square here and a square here, that helps. But here's, here's the kicker, make them three dimensional. So you put another line here and another line there and another line here and another line there. Now let's work on his hat. His hat, you can start kind of with a curved cylinder. And on the bottom, you can imagine it's kind of like um, the top of a pot pie, you know, with the crust going over the uh, over the edge. Then continuing this cylinder, you would put his hat band around here, and then you would go ahead and make what looks like 
the edge of a cartoon bone for the top of his hat there. Now, one thing that the 1936 Don Townsend model sheets pointed out with Goofy's three hairs in front is that the middle hair is actually the longest one between the other two. So I just went ahead and put in those three lines. And of course, Goofy has his ears. You probably wouldn't see his ear on the other side, but imagine that his ear connects here towards the back of his head and you make an invisible line and continue the ear the rest of the way. And it comes out and kind of curves around there. One, that's one thing that's really fun about animating Goofy is those floppy ears. And final detail, two hairs on the end of his ear. And there we have our pal Goofy.